Ben Shapiro has finally decided to weigh in on this big scandal involving Georgia Senate candidate Herschel Walker, a Republican who wants to ban abortions in any and all cases, including when a woman's life is in danger from the pregnancy. Now, it's interesting because he's attempting to defend Herschel Walker and specifically defend him against accusations of hypocrisy. He says, quote, it is so very telling that the supposedly horrible thing that Herschel Walker did, according to the media, was support the pro-life position, not knock up a woman and pay for her abortion. Because if he were pro-choice, this would not be a story. Yes, Ben, if he were pro-choice, this would not be a story because Walker wouldn't be a hypocrite. So for Ben Shapiro, who I think is genuinely a conservative, a person of faith, and he, I think, genuinely thinks abortion is wrong. I don't think he's one of these people who uses it as a political tool. For him, it's immoral. And the biggest issue here is that Herschel Walker actually paid for an abortion. But for everyone else who lives in reality and doesn't think in the same religious way that Ben Shapiro might think, it's actually Worse, that Herschel Walker wants to ban abortions for everyone, including in cases where a woman's life is in danger, meaning she could die from the pregnancy. When his past includes a situation in which he urged a girlfriend to get an abortion and then funded that abortion. That hypocrisy is particularly disgusting. Well, I mean, this is hilarious in a couple of ways, but first of all, well, if you're right, Ben, and you think the real issue is the underlying policy, and Herschel Walker paid for an abortion, and you care so much about that underlying policy, well, then you would obviously be against them. I mean, he's a deeply immoral person. It's not my faith, it's your faith. It's not my ideology, it's your ideology. So since you think Herschel Walker is deeply, deeply immoral and basically paid an assassin to, to kill his unborn child, why would you support him? I mean, she should be urging Republican voters in yeah. the great state of Georgia to vote against him, right? Yeah, I mean, is it a life or isn't it? I don't think it's a life. So if someone who doesn't think, hey, I also don't think the cells in my knee are a independent life form. So if someone gets, knee, if I get knee surgery, I'm not a hypocrite. It's not an issue, right? But if you say, oh my God, the cells in my knee are the biggest life in the world. We must protect it and you dig it into your knee 24 seven. Yeah, you're a hypocrite. Like, how is this a difficult thing to understand? But they have to do these word salads to try to make the, you know, something that is indefensible appear to be defensible, but just confusing their audience. Because his audience is gonna read that and be like, I, I, I don't understand it at all, but I think I'm supposed to vote for Herschel Walker, even though he paid for an abortion. And we theoretically hate abortion. Let me give you the second tweet in this thread where he writes, the hypocrisy charge as always, isn't about the personal immorality of someone's activity. And it's immoral as all hell. It's about undermining the actual moral standard they violated. But, but Ben, that's your morality. This is my problem with conservatism, right? Their morality is derived from their religious doctrine, which is great. If that's what you believe, you should be able to believe that. You should have the liberty to believe that. You should live your life as you see fit based on that religious doctrine that you have so much faith in, great. But your definition of morality is very different from what the vast majority of Americans feel about this very issue of abortion. Where you have, depending on which poll you're reading, between 70 to 80% of Americans who do not want to make abortion illegal in America. So you're actually in the minority. I think they're kind of, I don't know, in the dark about that, unaware of that. And they seem to forget about the fact that your, again, your morality is different from other people's morality. Your version of what life is, is different from what honestly doctors and scientists believe, but what the vast majority of Americans believe as well. Yeah, I mean, look, a lot of humans do this to be fair to them, but conservatives especially are so egotistical. They think, well, the whole world revolves around me, doesn't it? So here, I'll give you an example, an analogy that might be easy for you to understand. So Shapiro thinks, well, I think abortion is immoral as all hell. By the way, I'm gonna vote for 
Herschel Walker anyway, he doesn't live in Georgia, but I guarantee you he's like, Herschel Walker all the way, baby. He says he's moral as hell and I love him for it. Okay, let's put that, uh, no, 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 you're just putting out my hypocrisy because of word salad, word meat salad. I, uh, okay, but, but guys, okay, so you say it's really immoral. I think it's like knee surgery, I don't care. I don't think abortion is immoral at all. I don't think it's 1% immoral. There's absolutely nothing immoral about it. They're like, no, you can't think that. No, I can think that. I also think that drawing the Prophet Muhammad is not immoral. Muslims think it's really immoral. And they're like, how dare you draw the Prophet Muhammad? But wait, I'm not in your religion. I don't think it's immoral at all. I don't think it's 1% immoral. And Ben Shapiro would look at that and go, obviously, look at these dumb Muslims thinking that drawing the Prophet Muhammad is immoral. But me, I think the equivalent of knee surgery is the most immoral thing in the world. So yes. how dare you not think like me? No, but okay. But so we don't. We don't. And we live in a democracy. So I don't I don't actually believe this or think this, but I want to make an argument. And and I would venture to say I don't know for sure, but I'm going to speculate that Ben Shapiro would be against what I'm saying. So my mom, for instance, in order for her to live, in order for her to survive, she desperately needed a kidney transplant. Now humans can survive on just one kidney, right? You don't need two, you can survive on one. In order to save human lives, which is the most important thing in the world, we should have a government program that forces people to donate kidneys. Since you can live with one, we should save lives by donating one of our kidneys, right? And there are a lot of people on that waiting list to get a kidney transplant. So should we do that? I mean, if-, if I think we should take Ben's kidney. I'm not kidding. Like, so he thinks, well, in order to save a life, I can totally imprison you for nine months, make you carry a rapist baby, and then take care of it for the rest of your life. Well, taking your kidney, which you don't need, is nothing compared to that. And who's doing it? You're asking the government to kidnap that woman and to force her to go through all of that, right? So why can't the government kidnap you and take your kidney? To you save lives. It's to save lives, Ben. It's to save lives. It's, and by the way, the kidney would actually save a life and not a zygote and a clump of cells. And by the way, the reason why we know he wouldn't want to do that. Because it's, it's his goddamn no, kidney. No, because <laughs> it, yes, because it's his goddamn kidney, you're correct about that. But also, I mean, we have evidence of how over the top angry conservatives got over mask mandates. Which is nowhere as invasive as undergoing surgery to donate a kidney to someone who needs it to survive. By the way, my mom's fine. She did get a kidney transplant from a wonderful person named Jordan, who happens to be a wonderful Christian. But nonetheless, I just, I just think that these arguments are so hollow and so ridiculous, and it just blows my mind that they put it out there, and there's some portion of the country that's like, yeah, yeah, this totally makes sense. Just give yourself a moment to really think about it critically. <laughs> yeah, and look, my morality says that. We should take your kidneys to save other lives. Now, by the way, I'm not going to give you my kidney because I get to be a hypocrite all day long. And I'm just being a Republican, right? No, you don't get my kidneys, but we're taking all your kidneys, okay? Would you agree to that? Of course, somebody would agree to that. But when it comes to women, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, just make them carry it inside their body for nine months and then have them take care of it for 18 years. And they think, What's the big deal? They're not me, and I kind of like oppressing them. Keep it real, that's what this is all about. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.